Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Nurse Macy and on this page I talk about women's health, especially fertility, pregnancy, labor, delivery, family planning and lots more. So if you're visiting my channel for the first time or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click on that red subscribe button below this video and turn on the bell icon to enable YouTube to notify you anytime I upload great content like this one and to subscribe is free. Regular menstrual period is always difficult to track your ovulation and know your most fertile day. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually know the day you ovulate in order for you to get pregnant. If you're trying to get pregnant or you have a friend who has irregular menstrual period, please watch this video to the very end. Don't skip any part because it will be of help to you. And also make sure you share this video to your loved ones and your friends. A woman is said to have irregular menstrual period if her cycle varies. For example, this month she had 23 days menstrual cycle and next month she is having 30 days menstrual cycle and the other month probably 26 days menstrual cycle. It keeps varying every month. It's considered to be irregular. And because your cycle is irregular, you find it difficult to know the day you ovulate. Usually, ovulation takes place 14 days before your next menstrual period. But when your cycle becomes irregular, it may be difficult for you to track your ovulation and know the day you ovulate because the day of your ovulation is actually the day you can get pregnant. And once the egg is released, that is your ovulation, it lasts for up to 24 hours and dies off. So if fertilization does not take place, it sheds and that is your menstrual period. Okay, don't get me wrong. You may actually skip one or two days in your menstrual cycle. That doesn't necessarily mean you have irregular menstrual period. It could be as a result of stress, breastfeeding, puberty, or reaching menopause. But what I'm talking about here is when the length of your cycle keeps varying from month to month, this is when your period is considered irregular. Ovulation is the release of a matured egg from the ovary and it takes place once every month depending on your menstrual cycle. The average menstrual cycle is 28 days. However, it may be shorter or longer. But note that every woman does not have the same 28 days menstrual cycle. Since we don't have the same menstrual cycle, I might have 26 days menstrual cycle. Another woman might have 28 days menstrual cycle. We don't also ovulate on the same day. My ovulation day may be different from your ovulation day. So every woman does not ovulate on day 14. Your ovulation takes place according to your menstrual cycle. So any woman in her reproductive age should actually know the day she will ovulate because that's her most fertile day and she can actually get pregnant on her ovulation day. So if your cycle is irregular, the first thing to do is to get a calendar where you will chart your cycle. So get a calendar and chart the first day you will menstruate, that is your day one of your menstrual period. Then the first day of the next menstrual period also mark it in your calendar so don't forget to chart it every month up to six months and take the list as your menstrual cycle number two way to track your ovulation with irregular period is to check your body for the presence of cervical mucus immediately after your menstrual period start checking your body for the presence of cervical mucus once ovulation is approaching the presence of cervical mucus begins to increase and on the day you ovulate you will notice that the cervical mucus will increase in abundance and becomes clear and stretchy like an egg white to know more about the signs and symptoms of ovulation there's a link in the description box that could guide you on the symptoms and signs of ovulation so do well and check it out at the end of this video the third way to track your ovulation with irregular menstrual period is to check your basal body temperature. Your basal body temperature is the temperature when your body is at rest. Your basal body temperature is usually taken when you wake up from sleep in the morning before stepping out of bed. So after your menstrual period, 
start tracking your basal body temperature every morning when you wake up from sleep before you step out. When your basal body temperature rises, it tells you that ovulation is about to take place or has just taken place. And that is the best time to actually get pregnant if you are trying to get pregnant. The fourth method to track your ovulation with irregular period is to purchase ovulation test kits or test cassettes. If you think taking your cervical mucus or your basal body temperature or chatting on your calendar is difficult for you, then try this method. Purchase ovulation test kits or test cassettes. It will help you to track your ovulation day. The only thing is that since your cycle is irregular, you will have to do more testing month to month to know the day you ovulate. Find a particular time of the day, probably in the afternoon, if it's 2 p.m., maintain 2 p.m. The next day, do the testing as well. It's going to help you very well to track and know the day you ovulate. If you don't know how to use ovulation test kits or test cassettes, I'm going to leave a link in the description box on a video that could help you. Now, you will start using this ovulation test kits few days after your menstrual period to be able to track your ovulation day. So, ovulation test kits and test cassettes help detect the presence of luteinizing hormone in your urine. And once it's seen in your urine, it means ovulation is about to take place or you are ovulating already. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you found this video helpful and you would like to watch similar videos from this channel, do well and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon to enable YouTube to notify you anytime I upload a new video. Also like and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video. Bye.